Remove the gear case as demonstrated in the gear case removal and installation video. Remove the six screws retaining the shift actuator. Lightly tap the shift actuator with a soft mallet to loosen it. Slide the shift actuator forward to remove. Next, remove the shift actuator seal and discard it. Remove all old gasket sealing compound from the shift actuator and gear case housing. Install the guide plate onto the gear case housing with the slot facing rearward. Secure with two screws. Install the shift rod height tool onto the lower shift rod. Turn the propeller shaft to ensure the gear case is in neutral. The shift rod height is correct when the ring on the shift rod height tool contacts the guide plate. Turn the shift rod height tool clockwise to lower shift rod height, or turn the shift rod height tool counterclockwise to raise shift rod height. Important, verify the hex on the lower shift rod is pointing directly forward or backward to prevent damage to the actuator. Use the pin on the shift rod height tool as a reference to ensure the hex is aligned correctly. Remove the shift rod height tool and the guide plate. Verify the gear case is in forward. Rotate the propeller shaft while lifting the shift rod with the special tool. Verify the actuator is in neutral. The actuator is in neutral when it measures 5.824 inches or 147.93 millimeters from the center of the pin to the bottom of the actuator cover. Apply 12 volts to the shift actuator leads to extend or retract the actuator shaft. Remeasure using the previous step to ensure the shift actuator is in neutral. Apply gasket sealing compound to a new shift actuator seal and install the seal. Slide the shift actuator rearward to capture the lower shift rod. Verify the shift actuator is connected to the lower shift rod by lifting the shift actuator. Carefully push down on the actuator and rotate the propeller shaft to shift the gear case into neutral. Apply ultralock to the shift actuator retaining screws. Install the six retaining screws and tighten to a torque of 84 to 106 inch pounds or 9.5 to 12 newton meters. Remove the plug from the top of the shift actuator. Important, this is an air chamber. Do not fill with oil. Install a gear case pressure tester and pressurize to 16 to 18 PSI for five to 10 minutes. If the shift actuator does not hold pressure, repair any leaks. After confirming there are no leaks, remove the gear case pressure tester. Then reinstall the plug in the top of the shift actuator. Notice, make sure the gasket is installed on the plug and the plug is tightened securely. Water intrusion into the shift actuator cavity will damage the shift actuator. Torque the plug to 60 to 84 inch pounds or 7 to 9.5 newton meters. After the gear case is reinstalled, use Evinrude Diagnostic 6 to check or recalibrate shift actuator operation.